This mega diverse down here, we've got over 200 species of seaweed uh, alone in Port Phillip Bay. That's more than anywhere else in the world. We've got sea stars, we've got sharks, we've got urchins, uh, we've got the works. Alright, so today we're here uh, at Port Villa Bay at one of my secret spots, which isn't so secret. Uh, Williamstown, there's a big breakwater over there where the beach is, and just on this side there's heaps of uh, rocky reefs uh, and seagrass meadows as well. So we're going to go check those out today, grab my gear, and we'll head down there. So we've uh, made it down here to Williamstown uh, and we're going to jump in here and have a look. We can see there's plenty of rocks here and they go into the water and there's plenty of marine life on these rocks so we'll go and check it out and see what we can find. So we're here in uh, Port Phillip Bay, uh, for those who don't know where it is, it's uh, from Geelong all the way around to Sorrento down the bottom uh, of Victoria, that's where the bay is. Uh, so we're here today and when you think of Port Phillip Bay, for most people in Melbourne anyway, uh, you go out to the beach and you see seagulls and that's about it. Uh, but it's mega diverse down here, we've got over 200 species of seaweed uh, alone in Port Phillip Bay, that's more than anywhere else in the world. We've got sea stars, we've got sharks, we've got urchins, uh, we've got the work. So next time you guys have a day off, beautiful blue skies, uh, nice weather, not too windy like it is today, uh, but put a snorkel on, jump out and go and check it out. So when uh, Zali and Yarra grow up a little bit, hopefully I can take them out snorkeling as well. They can be my little snorkel buddies and uh, come and check out the oceans with me, and travel around and uh, see all sorts of cool things. And uh, we've also got another one on the way as well. Don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but uh, I'll have a little trio to take snorkeling, so that'll be really cool. All 
All right, we just stopped in the Williamstown Aquarium. We've got to pick up some salt for our tanks. So let's go in. They've got some really cool tanks in here as well. So what we didn't see today, we'll see in there. Wow, look at that one. That's awesome. <laughs> do you want a dory? Yeah. I bet you do. Maybe for your birthday. Which one do you like? I like this balloon one. Oh, this balloon. It looks like brains, doesn't it? Yeah, brains. <laughs> he wants to kill you. <laughs> Which one do you like? Oh, uh, that one. That one? Oh, that one over there? Yeah. The orange one or the green one? The green one. Oh, I reckon this one's pretty cool. Yeah. Green. Green? Yeah. Green, blue, blue, blue. Green, 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 green. <laughs> There's lots of green, isn't there? What's cool that? What's that one? Sea star, good job. Look at that little one there. Uh, How cute's that? Fishies everywhere. Fishies everywhere. Oh, look at that. What? Is Which it, one? one? Over here. Where? That one. Oh, wow. What about one of these, Sal? Yeah. That purple one? Yeah, that purple one. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Are you excited about your purple fish? <laughs> yeah? What are you going to call it? What are you going to name it? Purple. Purple. What a name. Luckiest two year old to have a marine tank in her room. <laughs> Here it is. Wow! Wow, purple. purple. What do you, since it's a strawberry dotty back? It's a food thing, eh? We, we've got a puff fish at home, a freckle puffer, and yep, she yep. called it carrot. <laughs> so. Uh, just a bucket of your normal salt, just your sea salt, if possible. Uh, yeah, the purple one, yep. <laughs> Come here, get here. <laughs> Running away. <laughs> hey, it's steady. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got my soul. Let's go home. <laughs> Come on, Sal. Let's do it. Sal is just circling me. Uh, but we made it back to Mount Edgerton, so I just got to unload the van and get the eggs out and chuck them in the tank. And then I've just got to uh, put Zali's new fish into her tank and clean a few things and we're done for today. So let's do it. Sally, you going to help me? Yep. Don't want them to get smelly. All right, chuck those down. Good girl. That one. That one. That one. Yeah, that one. Well, this one. Oh, there goes the dingoes up the back. Pretty sure the neighbours don't like me now. Because they just howl all the time. But that's alright. So I've got a sookie dingo inside uh, that's living inside at the moment. Uh, his name's Nala. He was the first dingo I got. But uh, he had a bit of a blue with his son and uh, he's now living inside with me. So you'll probably hear him sooking. Have to take him out to the toilet in a sec. Good fun when you're living with wild animals and you've got them together, things are going to happen. But yeah, we didn't, didn't see any signs of aggression or anything like that. And then it just, um, one day, it just happened. So we're going to have to separate them now and build another enclosure for the two boys so they can live separately. But that's just what happens sometimes, I guess, when you've got five dingoes living together. I'm not really uh, that good at doing washing. Tegan usually does it all for me. And then when she makes me do it, I hang it up really bad. 
<coughs> so she never wants me to do it again. Oops. Come on, good boy. Come on. Come on, don't worry, it's just Tim. He's not that scary. Come on. You're scaring a dingo. The apex predator. <laughs> You're alright. He looks like he's going to the beach. Good boy. <laughs> Who said dingoes don't bark? Alright, so when we take him in, we've got to separate him uh, from Alba, obviously, because uh, he's not the dominant one anymore and we don't want him to blue uh, too much. So, as you can see, he's got a neck collar on. That's just to stop him from getting at his wound, which is on his back leg. They cut a lot of his muscle out. He nearly lost his leg. Um, but all the tissue is growing back now and it's starting to uh, regrow, so he is doing well. Probably only another two or three months inside and uh, he'll be right to go back outside. But yeah, he goes to the vet every two or three days for checkups at the moment. He's one of my favourite animals, so definitely worth it. I'd do anything for him. All right, let's go separate the boys. Stay there, Nala. Stay there. Come here. Come up. Where's that bone gone? Get it. Oh, he's not gonna fall for it. He usually runs straight in. Come on. Oh, you can see how big he is <laughs> compared to Nala. He had a bit of a scratch on his nose, but he's healed up all right. But uh, he's a big boy, and he was bound to be the dominant one sooner or later. Say that. Good boy. All right, Nala. Here you go, mate. <laughs> he forgets he's got this head thing on sometimes. Be back. Yeah, I'll take this off. All right, so this is a salt we bought from Williamstown Aquarium. Uh, this is basically what we do. We can either collect it from the ocean, which is sometimes what I do. Uh, and because I don't have corals, it's not too bad. Uh, it can be a little bit polluted though. Uh, but basically you just buy salt in a big bucket like this. This is just uh, sea salt, not the stuff you buy from the supermarket, obviously. Uh, they're fairly similar. Uh, so I just pop a scoop in. Generally you measure it properly. Uh, but <coughs> know what I'm doing and then we just mix it around and we uh, test the salinity of it to make sure it's correct with the tank we're putting it into uh, because if you don't have the right salinity match up uh, you can get salinity shock and your fish will die so uh, I'm gonna make sure all the salts dissolved as well because big chunks of salt will uh, wreak havoc on the tank later on down the track so that should be right So this is the fish that we bought from the aquarium. Uh, so we've just been sitting in, it, in there to get the water temperature uh, exactly the same as, as the tank it's gonna go into because they can get temperature shock as well. So we'll just take that out for a second. Uh, and what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna change some water inside this tank. Uh, and by doing that, you keep the water nice and fresh uh, and your fish don't die. So regular water change is the key to keeping any tank healthy. So it's got this awesome hose here you can see all the beautiful mold inside there, so quite healthy. <laughs> so this is how we do it. <laughs> Try not to get it all over the carpet. And the amount of times I've sucked in water and just choked for the next three hours. Good fun. This tank's a little bit harder to keep than uh, the big tanks out there. The smaller your tank, the harder it is to keep. But what we're doing now, we're just taking exactly the same amount of water out as we're putting in and it's all fresh so this is a big water change for 50 percent so we'll put our new water in there it's about the same temperature as well without getting it all over the walls and floor and then when Zali gets home We'll have a nice little surprise waiting for us because they've just gone out for dinner. Left me to do all the work. That's all right. So we're gonna pop, Charlie's named it Strawberry. So we're gonna pop Strawberry in with uh, Daddy. He named, we've got a clownfish in here as well. He named it Daddy. All right, so we'll pop that in there. Turn a little light on. All done. 
So this is a really weak swarm that I caught in Ballarat, a swarm of bees. Uh, so the hive's gotten too full and they split off and gone into another one. So I caught this, uh, this swarm and popped it in this box. Uh, and on the next episode, we're gonna see how this is doing and how all our other hives are doing as well. But I'll just give you a quick look inside here. I don't have any smoke. I don't have any proper clothes on. So hopefully no one gets eaten today, but Tim, get ready to run. Here we go, just open it up. See, there are a few bees in there. And it doesn't look too bad because it was a really, really small swarm. So uh, that was probably 60 days ago. Oh, I'll close that up because they're getting angry. Tune into the next episode. And uh, if you did like this episode today, make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.